So Eddie, that last bite should be nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> Welcome back. Mayhem Loren in the building. Fridge Diving Season 2. This is a special episode. We have a guest, Chef Asia May from Moonshine in Boston. I was up, middle of the night, walking around. I heard a tap on the window. Chef Asia May was just there holding bags and bags of leftovers from Moonshine, and we're about to make some fire. Let's go! There she is. I thought it'd be weird to show up empty-handed, so I bought some stuff. I like any kind of glaze. What is that? Yeah, we call it Asia's Angry Sauce because I, I got kicked off of Chopped by Martha Stewart for making something too spicy. Huh. Insert Latin prison food joke here. Mushroom tofu burgers, lamb meatballs, and these guys are one of our favorites. This is scallion pancakes. I figure we would do a scallion pancake quesadilla. Scallion pancake good, quesadilla Yo, yeah, good. Yeah, two of my favorite things. All right, so we've laid out our stuff. I think I'm gonna put you in charge of cheese. Sounds good yeah. to me. They used to know me as Little Pepper Jack from age 14 to 17. PJ. <laughs> Little PJ, you yeah. playing ball today? <laughs> like, nah, I'm chilling. Over here, I preheated the casserole pan. I'm gonna grab some olive oil. So preheat the pan, we're gonna add the oil in. I usually don't see scallion pancakes that size. Are they made this big and for quesadilla purposes or do you yes. always have this? Gotcha. <laughs> that is accurate. I'll start with the vegetarian ones first because that way we can use the same pan afterwards. Don't worry, I'm not vegetarian this week. Yeah. You know, I fluctuate, I go I back and that. forth, it's a struggle. While these are going, we'll start to mix our cheeses. Are these the right size? Or? That works, that looks great. <laughs> we are going to start working with our salsa. If you don't like a good salsa, not only do I not trust you, I don't like you. Chop up the tomato, like medium dice, sound goody? Okay. I'll work on the shallot. These guys, we're gonna cut about like a quarter inch thick in rings. And we're gonna break them up a little bit in the salsa. And then I'm stealing your prepped red cabbage there. You As you should. That. Kind of bring the idea of like a slaw meets a salsa. I'm ready. I like when things meet. Match made in heaven. You know what I'm gonna say. This is a fire color combination. This would be a good sneaker right here. Yet again, this would look good on your foot. Right here? This would be a beautiful sneaker. Like if, if, if this was a colorway, that would be fire. Next we're gonna do a similar type of thing with the meatballs. And I'll crumble those up a little bit. Expose more surface area, get some nice color. Let me help you, let me crumble yeah. a little. Let me do a little crumbling. And season with a little bit of salt. You know what's crazy? If I was ever kidnapped and blindfolded, but I could smell this, I'd still have a sense of tranquility. They smell bomb. So these guys I'm just gonna slice up. It's an even better sneaker color right now once you threw that green in. Oh, I'm like, this is starting to get nice color, which is awesome. A lime will be great. I'm gonna pop this to you so you can juice it right in. Got you. This one, all right, now we'll make it bad. work. Kind of did. It was a little resistant at first, but then we came to an arrangement. Chop our cilantro. I like to use the stems. Uh, it's super fun to be really delicate and finicky with just the leaves, but like the stems offer so much flavor. Nah, the stems are everything. Yeah. I've been saying that. Nah, doggy, there's actually more flavor in the stem than the actual leaves. You can chop those up. Got it, my pleasure. Now we're just gonna kind of put the secret ingredient. I know you can't tell me everything, but like, mm -hmm. what does that consist of? Honey, cider, rice wine vinegar, reduction with garlic, ginger, ghost chili, Thai bird chilies primarily and then uh, a bunch of habaneros as well. That's like everything good in life. That's yeah. ridiculous. I'm a firm believer, if you cook something right, if it's made properly, then it'll look great, you know? And yeah. this, is, this is not a bad start. I'll add some salt to this. That'll help to start to bring the juice and everything out of the cabbage too. Break it down just a little bit. You have another clove? I don't like yeah. this one. So I'm turning a little brown on us. Rule number one, always have backup. What, we'll just drop this in? Yes. Yes. Oh my. Yeah, that's, nah, that's it's pretty sexy right there. Yeah, it's no joke. And then we can start assembling the quesadillas. We're gonna do our cheese first, which we stuck over here. I'm kind of thinking we'll close these over halfway. Yeah. So we'll do, we won't overfill the whole thing. Cheesy. It looks 
spills out, that's not like, a problem. Do you see what's about to happen right here? Okay, so we'll do one vegetarian one here, with the mushroom tofu burgers. We'll do another one with our pan-fried lamb chorizo, we're gonna call it now. This. These quesadillas with a plain flour tortilla would be delicious anyway. Yeah, of course. But in a scallion pancake, it's so just, we'll it's unforgettable. Level. Yeah. So we're gonna, probably should have asked you if we preheat the oven. We never preheat. Yeah. <laughs> we always mean to, but we never do. All right, we're gonna preheat the oven and we'll start it. There we go. So the most important part of this quesadilla recipe is putting it into a cold oven first. Yeah, it really <laughs> lets the cheese like melt at the perfect rate. It, that's, it doesn't rush that's things. You gotta take it slow, you know? All right, so now we're gonna do like a sour cream, but we're gonna jazz it up a little bit with cumin, more lime. If you can put like half of this okay. in there. This is like a little baby spoon right here. This is the spoon you get if you're punished. Like sit in the corner and eat with the baby spoon. I think that's good. Yes. The, the last dollar. That is, that's a hell of a dollop right there. Mm -hmm. nah, that's a mean dollop, you know? I'm gonna be generous here. The juice of, oh, this one's really good. You're so cute with your gold. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I'm trying to keep it consistent. I love you know? it. You make it fancy. We Team got this. Teamwork. It makes the dream work. I took a piece of that lamb. I'm about to do a backflip. Yo, if you were to inject Easter with a needle, this is what it would taste like. All right. I think these are finally ready. Oh, Perfect. Man. And that is a couple of nice looking quesadillas. So I've got the lamb chorizo meatball one here. I like to cut them up a little bit, that way it's easier for us to stuff into our pie holes. Definitely. And come all the way from Boston and mess around. They're cumin enhanced? Come Lime, on. Lime, cumin, crema. And at the restaurant, honestly, what I would do is add some scrambled egg in with the quesadilla, and it makes it the perfect brunch item. The perfect. Do a little something, something. I don't even have to step my whole game up. I'm, I'm reevaluating my existence. Stuffed, cheesy, scallion, pancake quesadilla, red cabbage, salsa fresca, pepper jack, mixed cheese, angry sauce. Who's angry sauce? Asia's angry sauce. Okay. Let's do it. Do I just grab this with my hands? Yeah. And knife and fork it? Nah, right? So let's start with the lamb? Yeah, we'll start with the okay. lamb. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. It hits on a lot of levels. And that cumin just crept up and mm -hmm. kicked me in the side of my neck. Like every bite's different. Perfect bite. Mm-hmm. Bless me goodness, right? Wow. Don't miss the thing. I like food to be a no-brainer. Put it in your face, it doesn't taste good. That just tastes good. So Eddie, that last bite should be nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> you just took me to another planet. Like, I'm going back to Earth right now. If you go to Boston for any reason, whether it's to see the Yankees beat the Red Sox or to go to Bodega to buy some shoes, make sure to go to Moonshine after and enjoy yourself. Yes, please. Scallion pancake quesadillas. One lamb, one mushroom, tofu, equally amazing. I'm telling you, I can't, it's like I'm high right now. <laughs> And this will be perfect because we want to get this started a little bit early. That way, all the juices can come together, flavors can marinate. Everybody starts doing their thing. I missed. I played it off, but I missed. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. All right, that one in. I missed too. 